Why are aircraft carriers always gray and submarines always black? These color choices are crucial for their mission and survival, and the different reasons will astound you. Before we look at why subs are deep black, let's first examine why aircraft carriers are always gray. Visibility and Camouflage The choice of gray for aircraft carriers results from decades of naval experience and scientific research. This color's effectiveness lies in its ability to adapt to various environmental conditions. The ocean's appearance changes dramatically based on weather, time of day, and geographical location. Gray, with its neutral tone, can seamlessly blend into these varying backdrops. Morning and Evening Adaptability In the early morning or late evening, when the sky takes on a pinkish or orangey hue, a gray ship can still maintain a low profile by absorbing and reflecting these colors in a muted fashion. Radar Absorbing Materials Gray paint formulations often include radar-absorbing materials that can reduce a ship's radar cross-section, making it appear smaller on enemy screens. Some advanced gray paints also have infrared-suppressing properties, helping to mask the ship's heat signature. The camouflage effect of gray is particularly important during aircraft launch and recovery operations. When viewed from above, a gray flight deck kind of blends in with the ocean's surface, making it harder for enemy pilots or satellites to discern the exact position and orientation of the carrier. This can be crucial in preventing accurate targeting during potential attacks. Heat Reflection Gray paint's reflective properties contribute significantly to the overall efficiency of the carrier. By reducing heat absorption, it lessens the load on the ship's air conditioning and cooling systems. This not only improves comfort, but also translates into fuel savings, as less energy is required to cool the ship's interior. In long-term deployments, these energy savings can be substantial, allowing the carrier to extend its operational range or reduce the frequency of refueling stops. Moreover, the heat-reflective properties of gray paint help protect the structural integrity of the ship. A cooler flight deck A cooler flight deck is safer for deck crews working long hours in the sun and can reduce the risk of heat-related incidents. It also benefits the aircraft themselves, as excessive heat can affect fuel stability and electronic systems in parked planes. Maintenance and Durability the harsh marine environment poses unique challenges to ship maintenance. Salt spray, UV radiation, and extreme temperature fluctuations can quickly degrade paint and underlying surfaces. Corrosion Inhibiting Compounds Gray marine paints are specifically formulated to withstand these conditions, often incorporating corrosion inhibiting compounds and UV resistant pigments. The durability of gray paints translates into significant cost savings over the lifetime of an aircraft carrier. Less frequent repainting. That means fewer days in dry dock, allowing for more time on active deployment. It also reduces the amount of hazardous waste generated during maintenance, aligning with modern naval forces' increasing focus on environmental stewardship. Hiding dirt and stains. Gray's ability to hide dirt and stains is not just about aesthetics. A cleaner-looking ship boosts crew morale and projects a more professional image during port visits or during joint exercises with allied nations. It also makes it easier for maintenance crews to spot and address any developing issues on the ship's exterior, such as small cracks or corrosion spots, before they become serious problems. The uniformity of gray paint across naval fleets also streamlines the logistics of maintenance. Naval bases and supply ships can stock a single type of paint suitable for all vessels, simplifying inventory management and reducing the risk of delays due to unavailable supplies. Now that we know how gray paint helps with maintenance and durability, let's take a look at the psychological factors of this color choice. The psychological impact of a gray aircraft carrier 
extends beyond its effect on the crew and potential adversaries. In peacetime operations, these vessels often serve as instruments of diplomacy and humanitarian aid. Neutral Power Projection The neutral gray color allows the carrier to project power without appearing overtly aggressive, a crucial balance in sensitive international waters. For the crew, the professional appearance of a gray ship can instill a sense of pride and belonging. Symbol of Readiness it represents the ship's readiness for any mission, be it combat operations or disaster relief. This subtle psychological reinforcement can contribute to higher morale and better performance during long deployments. In combat scenarios, the gray color plays into the concept of psychological warfare, ambiguity, and uncertainty. An enemy spotting a gray shape on the horizon may struggle to immediately identify it as a carrier, leading to moments of uncertainty that could be tactically advantageous. The ambiguity created by the gray silhouette can sow doubt and hesitation in potential adversaries. Furthermore, the consistent use of gray across naval fleets creates a unified visual identity. Unified Force When multiple gray ships operate together, they present a cohesive and formidable force, enhancing the psychological impact on both allies and potential enemies. This visual uniformity also reinforces the sense of teamwork and shared purpose among different vessels in a carrier group. In diplomatic contexts, grey ships can serve as powerful yet non-provocative symbols of national presence. They can project strength while maintaining a relatively low profile an important consideration in sensitive international waters or during port visits to allied nations. Here's a question for our viewers. How do you think the color of naval vessels impacts their effectiveness in modern warfare? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Before we move on, I'd like to invite you to join our channel as a member, which will not only help us continue producing these fantastic videos about the US Navy, but also serve as a tribute to all the veterans who tune in to our videos. Head on over to the link in the description or simply visit our channel page and select Join. Thanks. Now, let's get back to the topic. Submarines. Why are they deep black? Stealth and Concealment Submarines operate in a completely different environment than surface vessels, and their color scheme reflects this unique role. Black, the color of choice for many submarine fleets, offers unparalleled advantages in the murky depths of the ocean. In the underwater realm, visibility decreases rapidly with depth. The effectiveness of black in underwater concealment is rooted in the physics of light propagation through water. Light Attenuation As sunlight penetrates the ocean, it undergoes a process called attenuation. Different wavelengths of light are absorbed at varying rates, with longer wavelengths like reds and oranges being absorbed first, followed by the shorter wavelengths, blues and violets. This phenomenon creates distinct color zones at different depths. Sunlight Zone – from 0 to 200 meters In the uppermost layer of the ocean, known as the Sunlight Zone, a black submarine still offers significant advantages. Against the backdrop of the deep blue water, a black hull creates minimal contrast, making it difficult to spot from the air or from surface vessels. During nighttime operations or in stormy conditions, this effect is even more pronounced, allowing subs to operate near the surface with reduced risk of visual detection. The Twilight Zone – from 200 to 1000 meters As we descend into the Twilight Zone, where only faint blue light penetrates, the black coloration becomes even more effective. At these depths, a black submarine virtually disappears into the surrounding darkness. This is crucial for modern submarines that often operate at these intermediate depths to balance stealth with the ability to quickly reach communication depth or launch depth for missiles. The Midnight Zone 
below a thousand meters. In the midnight zone, where no sunlight penetrates, the color black transitions from a visual camouflage to a strategic choice for other detection methods. The effectiveness of black extends beyond natural light conditions. Many modern anti-submarine warfare or ASW operations utilize artificial light sources, including blue-green lasers to detect submerged vessels. Light Absorption The black hull absorbs much of this light, reducing the sub's detectability in these advanced search operations. Acoustic Considerations the relationship between a submarine's color and its acoustic properties is a fascinating intersection of materials science and stealth technology. The black coatings used on modern subs are far more than just simple paint. They are complex, engineered materials designed to defeat multiple detection methods simultaneously. Sound Absorbing Materials the dark pigments used in these coatings often include materials like carbon black, which has sound-absorbing properties. When sound waves strike the sub's hull, instead of reflecting cleanly, which would create a strong sonar return, they are scattered and absorbed by the coating. This significantly reduces the sub's acoustic signature, making it harder for enemy sonar to get a clear picture of the vessel. Self-noise reduction Advanced black coatings also address the issue of self-noise. As subs move through the water, they generate their own noise from propulsion systems, internal machinery, and the flow of water over the hull. The textured surface of the anechoic coatings helps to break up these self-generated sound waves, further reducing the sub's detectability. Heat Absorption and Distribution while it's true that black surfaces are excellent heat absorbers, this property is leveraged strategically in submarine design. The heat absorbing nature of the black hull helps to quickly equalize the submarine's temperature with the surrounding water. This rapid heat transfer is crucial when a submarine needs to change depths quickly as it helps prevent the formation of a detectable thermal wake. Modern submarines employ sophisticated thermal management systems that work in conjunction with the black hull. Historical and Practical Reasons The tradition of black submarines has evolved significantly since the early 20th century. While the German U-boats of World War I established the precedent, the reasons for maintaining this color scheme have become increasingly sophisticated. World War II Effectiveness during the Second World War, the effectiveness of black submarines was further proven in various theaters of operation. The Imperial Japanese Navy submarines, painted in dark colors, were particularly successful in the vast expanses of the Pacific Ocean. This success reinforced the global trend towards dark-colored submarines. The Cold War era saw a dramatic leap in submarine technology and tactics. As nuclear submarines came into play, capable of remaining submerged for months at a time, the importance of long-term stealth became paramount. The black coloration combined with advancing stealth technologies allowed submarines to become true underwater predators, capable of evading detection even in intensive ASW environments. Operational Effectiveness and Standardization the practical benefits of maintaining a black color scheme extend beyond operational effectiveness. Standardization of color across submarine fleets simplifies logistics and maintenance. Shipyards and supply chains can be optimized for a single type of specialized coating, ensuring consistent quality and performance across the fleet. Moreover, the continuity and color scheme allows for incremental improvements in coating technology without dramatic visible changes that might signal advances to potential adversaries. New formulations of black coatings can be introduced gradually, maintaining the outward appearance of submarines while continuously enhancing their stealth capabilities. Technological Advances and Future Trends New Materials and Coatings as naval technology continues to evolve, 
so do the materials and coatings used on warships. Advanced polymer-based paints are being developed that offer enhanced durability, improved heat reflection, and even self-cleaning properties. These innovations could potentially alter the traditional color schemes of naval vessels. For subs, research is ongoing into metamaterials, engineered substances that can bend light and sound waves around an object, potentially rendering it invisible to both visible and sonar detection. While still in the experimental stage, such technologies could revolutionize submarine camouflage. Adaptive Camouflage Perhaps the most exciting development in naval camouflage is the concept of adaptive or smart camouflage. This technology would allow a ship to change its appearance based on its environment, much like an octopus or chameleon. Early Prototypes Early prototypes use arrays of temperature-sensitive cells that can change color based on the surrounding conditions. More advanced systems might incorporate cameras and displays, allowing a ship to project an image of its surroundings onto its hull, effectively becoming invisible. For submarines, adaptive camouflage could mean the ability to change color and pattern based on depth, lighting conditions, or even the type of mission being undertaken. Future Adaptations A submarine might be black for deep-sea operations, shift to a mottled blue-green for coastal work, or adopt a grey scheme when surfaced. While these technologies are still in development, they represent the potential future of naval camouflage, where the distinction between grey carriers and black submarines might become a thing of the past. The colors of our naval vessels the stalwart grey of aircraft carriers and the stealthy black of submarines are far more than aesthetic choices. They represent centuries of naval tradition, hard-won lessons from battles past, and cutting-edge research into stealth and survival at sea. As we've explored, these colors play crucial roles in camouflage, heat management, psychological warfare, and even acoustic stealth. Yet. As technology advances, we stand on the brink of a new era in naval camouflage. The future may bring ships that can change color at will, adapting to their environment like maritime chameleons. But for now, the grey silhouette of an aircraft carrier on the horizon and the black shadow of a submarine lurking in the depths remain powerful symbols of naval might and technological prowess. What do you think the future holds for naval camouflage? Will we see color-changing ships, or will the traditional schemes continue to dominate? Share your predictions in the comments. If you enjoyed what you saw and learned something new, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content about the US Navy. We truly appreciate your support and hope to see you again soon. Be sure to hit the bell icon so you can tune in to our next video right on time.